Mom and Dad brought me from Portland, Oregon to Maji, Ethiopia when I was five. My folks were here for 10 years. My sisters and I just had this idyllic childhood here. Maji was my home. And because I kept coming back, and I'm really the only foreigner who kept coming back to Maji, at a certain point the community elders came to me and said, the real problem we're facing is our women have to give birth in the dark because we have no electricity. Could you help us get a solar system for the delivery room? I knew nothing about technology or electricity or solar, but it opened my eyes to what power poverty means for a community. When there's absolutely no power, development really stalls at a very basic level. Health can't go forward without electricity. Education can only go so far without electricity. Without electricity, the water has to be drawn from a stream or from a trampled spring, and it's dirty, and it's incredibly burdensome. Without a power source, there is no such thing as development. I think the electric co-op model is the answer that Ethiopia is looking for, and I'm very hopeful that uh, this work here that we've already started will become a model for the whole country. Maji, I think, is a, is a very typical rural community, not only for Ethiopia, but for many parts of the world. It's isolated from uh, the capital, it's isolated even from the regional capital and from its zone capital. It's a community that mostly subsides on, on farming with a few small business activities in the town. Please. We are trying to establish an electric co-op model here in Maji uh, because we feel it's one of the more sustainable ways of creating uh, an electric utility that serves the needs of its community. And it also allows for a community to feel empowered by their own source of electricity and by uh, creating something that they have more local control of. <laughs> NRECA is the connecting link there between a gap and a theory. We like co-ops, we don't know how to do electric co-ops. NRECA is right there to make that connection. So they are so relieved to have NRECA to train, to support, to help them understand how this is run. Because there are primary co-ops, agricultural co-ops, savings co-ops, but nothing like an electric co-op, which is really a business. Yeah, <laughs> It does take a while. Uh, community awareness is a, is a very uh, important piece of that puzzle. Uh, it takes building a relationship with the community, with the community leaders, but also with community members themselves. Um, so it all comes down to engaging the community, educating them on the differences and why and what is an electric cooperative, how does it work, what will it provide them, uh, being transparent about the benefits and also the possible challenges that they will face building that trust with the community that although um, it will take time and there will be bumps along the road, that this model has proven to be successful and will provide them with the services that they need. 
እና ከጨለማ ወደ ብራንድ እንደምንገባ አይነት ነው የተረዳው። እሄ ህዝብ ከዚህ በፊት በጨለማ የኖረው ሲኖር የነበረው ህብረተሰብ ይሄን ኤሌክትሪክ እንትኑን ከተጠቀመ በሁሉም አባላት አሚን ብሎ አሳምነናቸው ወደዚህኛው አባ እንትን ከገቡ እቺ እቺ ሀገር ትለወጣለች ከጨለማም ትወጣለች የሚል ተረድቻለሁ If you look at any recent international history with developing electric cooperatives in other countries um, we are always in for the long run whether we embark uh, in this project in Maji or in others we are always looking to to commit the time required to form a cooperative the right way and with further education further community engagement people such as himself can can look for other opportunities to use electricity to improve their lives to improve the lives of their children and see what might happen with their future electricity has a way of changing people's lives in very unexpected ways there are always surprising developments i think when when electricity is first brought to a community and i expect no different from from maji